Welcome, we have Town Hall 11, three-star strategy. This is a queen walk into La Lo. Now, what are you looking for here? Well, I'm going to just kind of show you this brilliant attack. This is done by Leroy himself, for the man from down under, using a queen walk. Now, look at this beautiful wall break. Now, of course, you would never start your queen walk probably on this side, in the 12 o'clock side, 9, 9 o'clock side. I mean, the infernos are over there. You want to kind of work towards the inferno towers. That makes sense, and that is what he's doing. He's going to wall break here, uh, break into this first compartment, get the EA, get the CC as well. He's going to have to do some rage spells to get all these troops down. Now, look. We already know where the queen's going to go, right? The funnel was made. Nicely done. Here comes the CC. She is going to walk over here. So what is this plan? Well, he needs to get to the Inferno Tower. If she just hugs around the outside here, she'll die like at the corner. So that means you're going to have to break in, guys. You're going to have to see the path in here and, and just kind of go for it. Um, and you, she's going to loop around. Very nice, beautiful rage when she encounters the CC. And then there's another one for the queen as well. Um, and this is a nice, beautiful walk. Now, of course, I'm going to pause it when, once the queen gets doing her thing. So, <clears throat> queen steps out of range here of that expo. Look what he does. Leroy pops the king down. He's taking the brunt of the um, expo, the cannon on the archer tower. That means queen doesn't have to use a rage or doesn't have to use a rage on the queen. Here comes a double wall break in. Now, look at this first wall break to open up for the king. And the second one is to get to the inferno tower for the queen. Look at that beautiful. King is making the funnel. Let me pause. Well, I don't need to pause it. Y'all can see it. Queen King made the funnel for him. Here comes the queen right behind. She has nowhere but to go to the inferno tower. And he's going to pop the warden ability for the queen on the warden and then he's going to start the la lo from three o'clock now paul you would never start the la lo from 12 i mean that's just not you don't want to do that guys you don't want to do that a couple reasons one the queen's going up here she might get farther plus it's better pathing here you see how this uh, air expo you know you put the hound down here and then you put your loons behind and bada bing bada boom here comes the second hound on this side doing the flank and then they're going to meet up on the inferno tower and that is how it does now he could have actually used a rage for the queen if he wanted um, i think either way would have been fine he did have the hay spells he decided to use the rage on the loons which and you know in the end it obviously three stars so brilliant but i think he could have done either way could have kept the queen alive if you wanted save her ability for the um later on but i do like the rage on the loons one because the queen would have had to got through gotten through all these storages before getting to the inferno tower so um make sure that inferno dropped by the loons instead of the queen later on um anyways a very brilliant massacred attack with tons of loons up, Casarto, Leroy himself, showing us that 11 v 11 this is a strategy. Now, I know a lot of people will yeah, have commented, well, you know, what if I don't get that, I want to get that two-star? Because I know in your wars, you, you know, you, you are the only attack on the 11, and you have to get the two-star because you weren't able to get it with the 10s or for whatever. And so, um, what strategy could you use instead of that? Well, I mean, you could do... You could do strategies um, like, um, I, I would say go for the three star, but then you want to get that, th um, of course, um, yeah, you know, d don't play it safe. Take the risk. And if you got to get the two star, well, um, maybe save a baby draft. Maybe save some troops for the back end if you need to. Or um, if you're afraid to do the la lo, you could do a similar queen walk and then do it into bowlers or do it into Valkyries. Now that's not going to really guarantee you a three star. I mean, your chances go down because bowlers and Valkyries aren't really the best three star army. Now bowlers for funneling, yes, but I mean, like if you're talking about mass bowlers, I don't see a lot of three stars happening in the queen walk mass bowlers. So, um, anyways. Brilliant walk, brilliantly done, executed. He could have gone the other way if he wanted, but I like going this way. He faced the enemy queen, which, of course, that is mainly the reason he went that way. If he went this other way with the same queen walk, it's you know, a symmetrical base, he would have killed the queen. So uh, a couple reasons, you know, people ask, well, why do you enter here? Why do you enter there? Well, that's one reason why, um, and um, brilliantly done by uh, Mr. Mr. Awesomeness. Now, that, the baby was used for funneling, guys. Look at that. See? Baby used for funneling, got the job down. That Tesla almost caused problems, um, if because he, but thankfully he had the wall break in, so the queen was path in dire. Anyways, that's how you do it. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully this helped you give you an idea. Now um, and um, 
yeah, I think Queen Walk's a great strategy if you want to try to get that two star. Um, and if you are really afraid of the Lalo, you can do, you know, bowlers um, for that town hall if you want to save some and kind of push into the town hall, get the two star at least. And that way you won't fail for your clan. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Come back for more. Halo out.